Hello everyone welcome today's top 5 news headlines from American Life 365 July 31, 2024. Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh killed in Iran. Israel says it killed Hezbollah commander in Beirut in response to Golan Heights attack. New Secret Service leader ashamed over Trump shooting. Simone Biles leads Team USA back to Olympic gold. Senate passes online teen safety rules targeting big tech. Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, was targeted and killed in the Iranian capital Tehran, the country's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps said Wednesday. Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, was killed in Tehran, Iran, by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Hamas claims Israel was responsible for the killing, following Haniyeh's attendance at the Iranian president's inauguration. Haniyeh's death is expected to heighten tensions in the Middle East, especially between Israel, Hamas, and Iran. The announcement came shortly after Israel reported killing a senior Hezbollah leader in Beirut. The death of Ismail Haniyeh, the political leader of Hamas, is highly significant for the organization and the broader Middle East region. Haniyeh was a prominent figure within Hamas, and his death creates a leadership vacuum that could lead to internal power struggles within the organization. Haniyeh played a crucial role in negotiations, particularly in ceasefire and hostage deals. His absence could complicate ongoing and future negotiations with other parties, including Egypt and Qatar. The assassination is likely to escalate tensions between Hamas and Israel, as well as between Israel and Iran. Hamas has already vowed that Haniyeh's death will not pass in vain, indicating potential retaliatory actions Haniyeh's death could further destabilize the already volatile Middle East, potentially leading to broader conflicts involving other regional players like Hezbollah. Overall, Haniyeh's death is a significant blow to Hamas and could have far-reaching consequences for the region. Israel conducted an airstrike in Beirut, killing Fuad Shukr, a top Hezbollah commander, in retaliation for a rocket attack on the Golan Heights. The strike also resulted in the deaths of three civilians and injured 74 others. This action has heightened fears of a broader conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. U.S. and Arab diplomats are worried that the situation could spiral out of control. The Golan Heights is a strategically important plateau located on the border between Israel and Syria. The Golan Heights provides Israel with an excellent vantage point for monitoring Syrian movements and acts as a natural buffer against any military thrust from Syria. The area is a key source of water for the region. Rainwater from the Golan's catchment feeds into the Jordan River, making it crucial for water supply in an otherwise arid region. Israel captured the Golan Heights from Syria during the Six-Day War in 1967 and subsequently annexed it in 1981. This annexation has not been recognized by the international community, and the United Nations considers the Golan Heights to be Syrian territory. The Golan Heights remains a point of contention between Israel and Syria, contributing to ongoing regional tensions. Its strategic location and resources make it a highly contested area. Acting Secret Service Director not long after becoming the new leader of the Secret Service, Ronald Rowe traveled to Butler, Pennsylvania, to visit the rally site where a 20-year-old gunman tried to assassinate former President Donald Trump. On the same roof where the gunman took aim, Rowe lay in a prone position to see the line of sight for himself. Ronald Rowe expressed shame over security failures that allowed a gunman to attempt to assassinate former President Donald Trump at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The gunman, Thomas Matthew Crooks, fired from a roof, killing a spectator and critically injuring two others. Trump was injured but survived. Multiple investigations are ongoing. The Secret Service is enhancing security measures, including using drones and improving communication with local law enforcement. FBI Deputy Director Paul Abate mentioned that Crooks had a social media account promoting political violence, anti-Semitism, and anti-immigrant themes. The U.S. Secret Service employs a comprehensive approach to assess and manage threats against political figures. National Threat Assessment Center, NTAC, established in 1998, 
NTAC provides research and guidance to support the Secret Service's protective mission. It focuses on understanding and preventing targeted violence through multidisciplinary research and collaboration with public safety officials. The Secret Service conducts proactive threat assessments to prevent targeted violence before it occurs. These assessments involve evaluating the behavior and intentions of individuals who may pose a threat to public officials. Paris, against all expectations, including her own, Simone Biles was staring down the vault runway at another Olympic Games, under the same bright lights and the same five rings that had been the setting in 2021 of her lowest moment in gymnastics. Simone Biles led Team USA to Olympic gold in Paris, overcoming her past struggles and performing a more difficult vault than in Tokyo. Biles, along with teammates Suni Lee, Jordan Childs, Jade Carey, and Hesley Rivera, secured a commanding lead, making the competition feel more like a coronation. Despite a calf injury in the pressure of the event, Biles posted the highest individual all-around score in qualifications and delivered an explosive floor routine. The victory marked a significant emotional and professional comeback for Biles, who had faced severe challenges since the Tokyo Olympics. Simone Biles is an American artistic gymnast who is widely regarded as one of the greatest gymnasts of all time. Born on March 14, 1997, in Columbus, Ohio, Biles was raised in Spring, Texas 1. Biles has won a total of eight Olympic medals and 30 World Championship medals, making her the most decorated gymnast in history. She won four gold medals at the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics and has continued to excel in subsequent competitions, including the 2024 Paris Olympics. Biles has several gymnastic skills named after her, showcasing her innovation and technical prowess in the sport. Beyond her athletic achievements, Biles has been an advocate for mental health, openly discussing her struggles and inspiring many with her resilience and determination. Simone Biles' impact on gymnastics and her role as a role model for young athletes make her a truly remarkable figure in the world of sports. Washington, the Senate overwhelmingly passed legislation Tuesday requiring technology companies to take steps to protect children from harmful content on the Internet, but the effort faces an uncertain fate in the House because of concerns about free speech. The Senate passed the Kids Online Safety Act and the Children and Teens Online Privacy Protection Act with a 91-3 to vote. These bills aim to protect children from harmful online content by requiring tech companies to implement strict safety measures for users under 17. There are worries about the Federal Trade Commission's role in defining harmful content, with fears of potential censorship. The bills face an uncertain future in the House due to free speech concerns. Tech companies have mixed reactions to the Kids Online Safety Act and the Children and Teens Online Privacy Protection Act. Some companies, like Microsoft, X, formerly Twitter, and Snap, support the legislation. They view it as a necessary step to regulate tech companies and protect children from harmful online content. Other tech industry associations have expressed concerns about the legislation. They worry that the bills might violate the First Amendment and harm vulnerable kids who need access to information on LGBTQ issues or reproductive rights. Some tech industry groups have proposed alternative legislative approaches to enhance online safety for children, suggesting that the current bills might not be the best solution. Overall, while there is support for the intent behind the legislation, there are also significant concerns and calls for alternative measures.